Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here with you once again on this beautiful spring day that we're having. It's almost 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here today. That's not the subject of today's video. Got a little something out there for all of you computer buffs and historians and those who enjoy videos about vintage computers in general. I was inspired by V Westlife to dig these machines up out of my old computer shed. And amazingly, neither one of them blew up when I applied power to them. Neither one has seen power since the early 2000s. These are the next model up from the machine that he talked about. And I'll be making a much more detailed video about both of them in the future. Of course, the CMOS batteries have long since expired in both machines. And that brings me to the point of this quick little video. Talk about your year 2000 compliance. <laughs> Wow! I have no idea what the real-time clock is doing. <laughs> that reminds me of an old uh, wind-up clock that I was playing with in my parents' basement many years ago. And I kept winding the minute hand back to make it chime. And I think that clock had definitely lost the plot because it chimed like 36 times before I got done playing with it. I think that any clock that chimed 99 times, that would probably be well into the category of annoying. And apparently it's of the impression that two colons are better than one. But the clock is advancing, so i got to give it a little bit of credit. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was just too, way too entertaining to pass up. So stay tuned for a video about both of these machines in future. Meanwhile, thank you for watching, <laughs> and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.